What's up guys, Max Maxrix here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of this, which is a Harbor Freight Circular Saw. It is their um, professional grade series one, it's a little bit more expensive, it's around $40. Uh, before your 20% off coupon, it's item number 69078. And the reason I purchased this is because I've been using my little tiny, uh, like five and a half inch uh, Ryobi power, battery powered uh, circular saw and over time the batteries kind of degrade and now that we're starting the base box project i'm going to be doing a lot more uh, construction type work a lot of two by fours and stuff like that and so we needed a better circular saw and this one is very similar to circular saws you can buy from dewalt and, and other companies that you know retail in excess of 120 dollars this one was 40 bucks minus 20 percent off coupon so like 32 dollars um, and we're going to see if it's any good So, opening the box, we got some safety instructions, uh, which is nice, nobody ever reads these. We have an Allen key, and a two-pack of batteries, which I'm guessing is for our laser leveling system. We also have this, um, I believe this is what's called a framing guide, I'm not, uh, it allows you to measure depth, basically. And then of course we have our saw and nothing else in the box. So if we take the bag off, the saw itself just in your hand, um, mine's a little loose, we gotta lock that down. But it feels pretty good, it's actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but the trigger does have a nice feel to it. And uh, there is no blade on the saw. Now, on top of the blade here, uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver to open this little cover, and I'm guessing this is kind of where our batteries go. That's where our batteries go. So, pop these batteries out real quick. And there we go, you can see the laser. Uh, I don't know how well the cameras are going to pick that up. But, basically, if I hold it upright, and I'll bring the GoPro in here, you can see the laser light uh, lines up really nicely. It's not quite as bright as I'd hope it to be out here in the sun but uh, it's not bad and you can definitely see it and so now I don't want to spin this thing up without a blade because they're usually meant to be uh, counterbalanced so I'm actually going to run to uh, the homeless desk spot here real quick and pick up the correct seven and a quarter inch blade because uh, we have a small project that I'm going to use to test this thing out on so after going back and looking at it apparently in very small black letters it does say that the blade is not included so I went to the homeless desk spot and picked up this for 10 bucks. Uh, it's a Freud Diablo blade for framing, 24 teeth, seven and one quarter inches, or 184 millimeters. Find the lockout button here on the front. And so you need to match the direction of the rotation, which in this case is kind of towards my body. Uh, and you can see there's a thing right here that uh, shows you the direction of rotation. There's an arrow cast into it good and tight and now we can plug it in and see if she works now one thing to note is that this in my house this is a standalone uh, 20 volt or I'm sorry 20 amp 120 volt plug so this is basically gonna be best case scenario She free spins, so I'm gonna go and start digging the wood out of the backyard that we need to chop up uh, and bring it out here and we're just gonna cut up some wood. Let's start with something real simple. This is like half inch, pretty badly decaying, uh, like, I don't know, MDF or something. Basically cuts through that pretty smoothly. Basically as fast as I can push it. Here's some, uh, I don't know, this is either three quarter inch or one inch MDF. It's a little better shape, so let's see how it works. Nice, smooth, clean cut. Goes through it like butter. The main use of these type saws is for framing. So we got a one by four and a two by four here. No problem. What about the 2x4? This is the real test of test of strength. Nice. 
Not a chance. This left over from one of the boat trailers. This is probably a two by eight or two by 10. This is basically the biggest thing you're ever gonna, ever gonna cut with this one of these circular saws. So let's see how she does. <laughs> Perfection. Let's get the obvious out of the way first. The saw cuts wood, it cuts wood really well. Again, I'm on a dedicated 20 amp circuit, but this thing just cuts like butter through everything. There wasn't any hesitation, even in some of the rougher spots. Um, I got a truck bed full of wood cut up now that I need to go and dump. Uh, all in all, I'm very happy. This is definitely a, uh, a good tool to buy. Again, please be aware a blade is sold separately. I got this one for 10 bucks. I'm a big fan of these Freud blades. Uh, you can probably get one at Harbor Freight for probably half that uh, when you do it. And for about 40 bucks all in, I would say that this is a very, very good uh, circular saw. And I'm going to be using it a lot in our uh, base box build uh, that you can take a look at my channel. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe, uh, comment, like. You guys know the deal. This is YouTube. I want to make sure you get all the updates, all the videos that you guys want from my channel. Uh, if you have this tool, if you use it daily, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, like I said, I will give this tool probably an 8 out of 10. It's pretty well built. It's got external brushes, which I like. You know, it's got a... Uh, it holds the blade really well. I mean, everything is metal that needs to be metal. There's a few plastic bits that uh, could be metal, but it's not too big of a deal. And it's got a really nice trigger on it. So, all in all, I'm very, very happy with this purchase, especially for the amount of money I paid for it. And I look forward to using this uh, in a lot of upcoming videos and a lot of upcoming projects. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Max. This is Max Works. Peace.